So this camera kind of reminds me of some movie. Hmm. But they didn't name it that, so it's just the RLC 522 from Reolink. It's a, not a PT, which is pan tilt, so it's just a zoom, but I guess it's a stationary with optical zoom. And yeah, you no, know, you can't do the CSI enhanced thing on other cameras and just make it look better with just adding pixels somehow. So this actually has a lens that does zoom to get a better picture. Wait, didn't you already do this camera before, Travis, and you didn't like the mounting plate? Reolink did send us this camera for review, but as always, we speak our mind and tell it like it is and not let anything like that influence the review. So you can see it is in the same little mounting, housing, whatever you want to call it, same line as the RLC 520. So go ahead and do... The honors. Now this one's supposed to have zoom where the lens will zoom and change the field of view and get a tighter picture. So pretty much everything is the same. There's the micro SD card slot on the bottom. And let's see if we got the same deal with the mounting plate. Looks like the same exact thing. There's that little click, kind of. Maybe it may click more than the other one. I'm not sure. We'll see when we mount it up. But if you've seen the RLC 520 video, which we'll link up there and probably down there somewhere, it's pretty much the same looking camera. Probably only difference is going to be the lens. The IR is going to be the same so we'll definitely be checking out the lens on this and click the same plug there's your regular 12 volt input if you want the reset button and power over ethernet and of course we're going to be doing power over ethernet so let's go get this plugged in and see what she does and of course it's probably august 2020 by the time we do get this released and you'll notice yeah, still requiring flash for the GUI. So really, everything is the same. You still get your playback from an SD card with the one additional option. You got optical zoom, and it does autofocus. If you just simply slide it over, it will go ahead and zoom, and will autofocus for you. And that's really about it for the optical zoom. I didn't see anything else in the setup, and I could be wrong. I could be missing it for some reason. I didn't see anything else in here about maybe setting up some events because I could see in some instances you want to change the zoom based on the time of day. That would be actually a nice feature to have built into the camera. Now, you probably can do that possibly with Blue Iris and maybe some Node Red, some type of automation to send that OnViv command to it. But for the average person, it just seems like you'd want to build that into the camera GUI itself. So if you did want to see additional parts of the interface, again, we'll leave the link down to the RLC 520 video and you can check that one out. It's going to be the same. Now, overall, the quality of the camera, it seems to be about the same because it's pretty much in the same housing. The IR pattern is the same. I did notice during the evening that if you did zoom, that just it got really noisy if you zoomed out on things in a dark area. I'm assuming that's because the IR pattern, unlike some other PTZ cameras where the IR pattern would actually change to go out with the zoom of the lens. Now, we did have it on our little test board, and we still had our Amcrest 5 megapixel, the one with the starlight night vision, and we did do a little comparison during the day just to see how it compared. Still kind of maybe lean toward the Amcrest a little bit based on some of the colors and quality.
But hey, if you need that zoom, this might be for you. Now, one thing I would take in consideration where you're going to put this camera. Sometimes when we're trying to place cameras, you may want to put it where just a wall is cutting off one side of the frame. But then if you zoom, well, now you're not going to be zooming on maybe something, some subject that's by that wall. You're going to zoom straight into the middle. So when you are putting this, if you where you want to zoom, you want to put that right in the middle of the camera image. Because, of course, you cannot pan or tilt this camera. Now, all in all, the camera quality is just going to be what you know as real links, except you get that one additional feature of being able to zoom. So it might be a good little tool in the toolbox that you can add to that maybe when you're trying to get some weird little cut of an area that this zoom camera would really work out for you. So I didn't have any issues, of course, except the flash. I did bring it into Blue Iris and it just popped right in and had all the PTZ controls. Well, just the Z control, but it worked fine inside Blue Iris with OnVIF being able to control the zoom. So that's about it for this one. Appreciate all the Patreon subscribers. Definitely helps out every week and bringing new projects and new products to the channel all the time. And if you aren't already a subscriber, yeah, you should probably be mashing that subscribe button, hit that bell icon because, well, we do put out videos all the time as well as we do some different live streams with possibly some giveaways. And don't forget, check us out on Discord as well if you're having a lot of issues with various cameras, don't know what to do, or smart home automations. Lots of helpful people in there that'll help out with all your different issues. And sometimes you'll catch me in there as well. And that's it. And y'all take care.